Well, I'm listening to a really, really good testimony right now. And, uh, you know, one time I went to a, a, a church camp and with, a, with a, somebody I went to school with. And uh, before I went to this church camp, <coughs> I mean, my grandparents never talked against denominations and people out here. My grandparents never did. I never, not one time in my entire life, ever had my grandparents ever talk against the denomination. But my grandparents had told me that if I didn't want to get baptized because I was going to a Baptist church camp, that uh, that not to let no one pressure me into it. Uh, you know, I've heard a lot of people out here say you have to be baptized, and I've heard a lot of people out here say you don't have to be baptized. Uh, and I don't believe you have to be baptized. I know... Uh, that this testimony that I'm listening to right now, uh, I mean, uh, uh, hopefully I can go back and I can put all these videos in a, uh, and ask people to watch these videos. Um, this guy, uh, wanted evidence of being, that he was, uh, that he had the Holy Spirit. And I know that you do not have to speak in tongues. What I'm saying is, this guy never spoke in tongues in his testimony that he had evidence of the Holy Spirit. Other people that he was around did. But I know a lot of people out here, that's their message, that you have to speak in tongues. I've never spoken in tongues. And again, I, again, I'll admit, my relationship with God today is not like it was for the first two and a half years after getting baptized by the Holy Spirit, but I never spoke in tongues. There were things that happened in my life, and you know what he pointed out? That the Bible spoke the best of evidence of having the Holy Spirit? A changed life. A changed life. that he probably had the Holy Spirit and he never knew that he did. And he even came to the conclusion that he had a faith problem. Um, and I'm not saying that he didn't have the Holy Spirit. I mean, he was, he was seeking, he was seeking. What else did he bring up? Obeying, obeying and seeking. So see, that, that's right there is, is, is enough proof to me that so many people out here that profess to be saved, profess to have the Holy Spirit, don't. Let me ask you. Uh, uh, there's another video Pastor Prince made uh, talking about what is it? Please don't go away. Let me think about it. It's about to slip my mind. Uh, talk. You know what he brought up? You know, the other day I asked God to help me, help me. You know, I'm not just trying to help other people out here. It is to help myself. <clears throat> that I guess Jesus, and I, I've read Matthew, Mark, and Luke, you know, but when you don't stay in the word, you forget. I know you do, I know you do. And God doesn't help you a lot either. Um, he said you would be a doer of the word. Now, isn't it weird that I just brought up being a hearer and a doer of the word? And yet here, here's Pastor Prince talking about the Holy Spirit. And, and if you're not a doer of the word and you don't obey, like that guy said in a video that I made a video the other day and talked about where he said, uh, obeying the scripture and then I watched the video before that talking about obedience when the, when I wasn't even looking up obedience all I was looking up was uh, saved by grace through faith 
and the guy brought up obedience. <coughs> now do you see where so many people have got the right message and so many people have got the wrong message? Because yes, you do have to obey God and His Word. Or you are, if you had had the Holy Spirit, you're not going to maintain the Holy Spirit. I don't care what people say by being sealed by the Holy Spirit. If a person isn't going to be obedient to the Word, the truth, to Christ, you're not going to maintain the Holy Spirit. If you have the Holy Spirit right now, you're not. And, 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 and see, <coughs> everybody's going to have, a lot of people out here have the right answer. I want to, I would love to be able to put the whole puzzle together because, uh, and, and maybe that's why God's helped me, but I'll never be able to put the whole puzzle together. You may come up with a good message and then there may somebody else out here come up with a message. It comes from a whole different direction. And then you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, I've hindered my, my message. I have people. I know I have hindered my message because there was another guy before that that I watched a minute ago. And when I say a minute ago, I've watched, I've listened to four messages. I'm on my fourth one. Okay. And what did he say? Being in the word, being into the word. And now I understand, I think I know the reason why God told me no one would ever listen. I mean, yes, people listen. And I know there are people that have loved some of my videos. I'm talking about as a whole. Uh, I mean, do you think anybody's gonna listen to someone out here that cusses in a video? No. I mean, I, I had I had good intentions, but it it'll hinder. Just like if I am harsh, do you think that people are gonna like? Because there is a special tone. You talk to people out here, and I know that. Just like humble. I've talked about pride and humble. Pride is up here, humble is down here. You bring your level down to the where God wants you to be. I know that when people don't wanna hear what God has to say, it's pride. <clears throat> See, there's been times that God didn't want me to listen to other people's videos because if God has a message for me, it could hinder my message that I was supposed to give to someone out here. <laughs> 33, mile marker 33. Uh, I mean, literally. Uh, and I have quit listening to people's messages. Uh, and, and this guy had a great message too one day and I was listening to his messages and I knew that, and it came over me that God didn't want me to listen to his messages. And it's not that he wasn't right because I know that again, when God gives, uh, and this guy finally did get confirmation from God. God finally did over, I don't know how long a time in this guy's video, he finally did. Uh, maybe he was asking too much at the time and he wasn't doing enough. I don't know. I mean, I, I the guy hasn't said everything. I'm not even done with the video. I just thought it was important that I made this video but I really have hindered myself. I mean, ha hindered myself. I have really hindered my message by not reading the Bible. You know, sometimes I can throw scriptures out here. I can't even say the whole scripture. I know that uh, when when you confess of your sins that you're cleansed of all unrighteousness, I don't mean to leave out that God's just to, compl to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. That's why there's been times I've even thrown that out there that I know that's not the whole scripture, but that's what the, the but and I'm not trying to, to delete that God is just either. Because I knew, you know, like I said last night in a video, that when God made me a watchman and I started uh, making, you know, making conversations out here on Facebook, I said that God was just and he had a wrath and I didn't even know that the Bible said that God was just. Ah, I'm being serious. I didn't even know God had a wrath. <laughs> Wow, how did God do that? I mean, you know, I've admitted in the past, how did God do these things? I mean, how does God do things for other people? 
That's why I was looking up what I was looking up that I found these four videos. I wanted to know what others people, other people when they got, okay. <clears throat> Here, I'm gonna say this and I hope people don't get mad. I mean, I hope people don't get mad. Somebody receiving the Holy Spirit doesn't necessarily always mean that they got baptized by the Holy Spirit. Am I right? Do you think that I could possibly be right? I mean, it doesn't make a difference. It means absolutely no difference. I mean, if you got if you got baptized by the Holy Spirit or if you received the Holy Spirit, does it make a difference? No, it does not. It means absolutely no difference whatsoever. Because does that mean that somebody can receive the Holy Spirit without feeling these things that people feel? Yeah, I could, I could see that. I could see somebody that could receive the Holy Spirit without feeling like some people say a drunkenness or like I did when I felt like I was getting convicted for five or six hours. It was the same feeling I did when I got convicted all these years. Uh, but I know it don't make no difference. Somebody receives the Holy Spirit no matter how they receive the Holy Spirit. But I can I can tell you this, there's a there's probably a lot of people out here that thought they got the Holy Spirit. They never did. I can tell you that, because I mean, you know, I've 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 seen people talk about how people act in videos in, in a church. Uh, it isn't normal that somebody flops around onto the ground like a fish out of water. Maybe they received the Holy Spirit. Maybe they were, maybe they got the wrong message. Um, but I really did. I wanted to hear other people talk about it. Now, of course, this guy with his testimony, he isn't really talking about anything that how he felt. And I didn't, I haven't so far, I haven't gotten anything except for somebody saying that when, when they knew somebody got, you know, let this testimony, he said two of his friends got the Holy Spirit and they said one of them said something about speaking, both of them spoke in tongues and he didn't speak in tongues. And he was questioning God whether he had the Holy Spirit or not. And finally God did give him confirmation because he was seeking, he was seeking. But I don't see how everybody out here can profess to have the Holy Spirit. Now this is what I'm saying. I don't see how everybody can profess to say they have the Holy Spirit when they're not being obedient to the word, the truth, Christ, God, whatever, the Holy Spirit, whatever. I don't see how anybody can say that they've got the Holy Spirit. And could someone quit being obedient to the truth, the word, God, the Holy Spirit, Christ? Yes, they could. If you know you're supposed to be a repentant sinner and it's just supposed to turn away from sin, that's being obedience is to do that. To not do that is being disobedience. What did this guy bring up in one of the four videos? What did he say? Submit? Whoa. What about the people out here that talk against submitting? That you don't have to do nothing. Whoa. Something's wrong here. Mayday, mayday. Ship going down. Something's wrong here. Somebody's not speaking the truth here. And these people would profess to have the Holy Spirit, the ones that are lying about God's word. That's why I know that that strong delusion is happening, people, to these people out here that are more interested in believing in lies than the truth. And they would all profess to have the Holy Spirit, but something tells me they don't. And they would all profess to be sealed by the Holy Spirit, and I know they're not if it means now or later. Again, you know, I don't mean to bring that up again, but it, it, if, if, uh, if we don't have eternal life and we don't have eternal life until we die, okay, I'm fine with that. Some people aren't gonna die. Maybe that's the reason why, think about this for a second, maybe I found my answer. <clears throat> maybe that's the reason why that the 144,000 are not sealed and that it talks about it in the book of Revelation. 
and that the other people are sealed when they die and yet the, I brought that up not long ago think about that maybe that's the reason why because the ones that had the that got the that were sealed that, that are the 144,000 are alive they're not dead see that guy that I found made a video uh, you know what I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a video with a whole bunch of videos people need to watch but I can't put it in the title you know in the description I don't know how to do that I cannot do that I do not know how to do that but this guy in his video talked about we're saved by grace through faith another one we're saved by grace through faith and he said that we could fall out of God's grace and I know we can where did the Holy Spirit who gave us the grace uh, think of the Holy Spirit did I mean they had grace in the Old Testament they had a Holy Spirit who gave them the grace the Holy Spirit God's Spirit did that's right so if you can fall out of God's grace that means guess what you don't have the Holy Spirit working in your life now again I'm gonna say it again I try to cover every angle does that mean that you can work yourself that you can work yourself out so far that the Holy Spirit will is not dwelling in you well you know uh, still I'm trying to think why did God tell me we could lose the Holy Spirit does that mean again because I have to think about this does that mean that people have gotten to the point where they don't have that they that they don't have the, the Holy Spirit dwelling in them or did God mean that that we could get the Holy Spirit not activated in our life like that I'm telling you I know people have the Holy Spirit out here that have not activated the Holy Spirit in their life and see I think that that's what that guy was trying to figure out you know I mean every like I said I got convicted way before I ever got baptized by the Holy Spirit so if you think that I that at me getting convicted that I was saved then why did I get baptized by the, the Holy Spirit years later I got convicted all my life through sin, of sin. That did not mean I was saved. Not at all. Because I wasn't living for God at all. Man. That did not mean at all. I was living a, 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 a life for Satan is what I was doing. What are you talking about? You can't live a life for Satan and and maintain the Holy Spirit or even have the Holy Spirit see and 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 don't get me wrong I mean I I admitted the things that happened when I was in Oklahoma City when I went back to living a life of sin uh, after what again let me profess it again a testimony again after being baptized by the Holy Spirit in New Mexico what happened that evil spirit that God allowed for me to happen do you know why that you know why that was a waker upper people that was a waker upper but I, there was there was time when I was in Oklahoma so well, I you know I take that back see again there's nothing more special about me than you it doesn't make no difference what I say in my videos um you remember how many times have you heard that God will use anybody he wants for his purpose correct well, God was still using me when I was in Oklahoma City when I was in sin, but that does not mean I was right with God. How many times have I professed it? I know right from wrong, people. I do. And I know I was wrong. I was wrong to go to Oklahoma City, and I'm not going to blame a single person but myself. But I was wrong. To, to live for the flesh smoke marijuana watch porn you get that I opened up the door myself I, I did but people got the wrong message and but they see here's the deal get this I don't believe in the lies that people preach out here I won't believe in the lies. I 
won't believe in the lies. I will not. Nobody's ever going to make me tell, ever convince me that I could be in sin and be of God both. Ah! Uh -uh. Ah! No way. You're of your father, the devil. That's right. That's why I know right from wrong enough to tell you that if I'm in sin in the moment, I'm not right with God. If I ask God for forgiveness and he forgives me and he will, and he, I mean, he can, excuse me, don't say will. I mean, uh, because then, I, then, I'm, then I'm, okay, you got my drift that he can forgive me for confessing of my sins and admitting my wrongs. Oh yeah, that's how it is. That still means I have to repent of my wickedness, my sins. Yes. I'm gonna say it again. Repent of wickedness in the book of Acts is turning from sins. Sin, yes it is. In Sodom and Gomorrah, why were they wicked? Because they were sinners. It's right there. Why were they in unbelief in the wilderness? Because they were disobedient. Yes, it is. Now, I'm going to throw something out there. I'm going to throw something out here, and I hope you listen. You know where it says falling away from God or whatever in the book of Hebrews? It's like in the first chapter. Before that, it's referring to the, the wilderness. I am telling you this right now. I am almost... Nine hundred nine trillion percent believing that that scripture in the book of Hebrews right there in the first chapter at the end of the toward the very end of the first chapter when it talked about well I don't have a Bible and I definitely don't have the memory for it the unbelief is not a person that quits believing there's a God that is talking about disobedience that's how much for sure that I believe that that scripture is talking it is not about somebody that quits believing in God because what beep, beep what highway highway patrolman in the median what <laughs> uh, No need for a $2,500 ticket today. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, isn't it weird that before that it, it referred What? Here, let me turn myself, my radio down. Normally it makes that noise when there's something in the road, somebody on the shoulder, a highway patrolman in the median, highway patrolman out here somewhere that somebody has put on their uh, GPS on Google. Uh, isn't it weird that it's referring to the wilderness before that? And what happened? What happened before they went into the wilderness? God separated the, oh, <laughs> the Red Sea. You've gotta be kidding me. Don't you think they believe it in God? Don't you think that when Moses came down and, and, and I, I'm not getting, hopefully I'm not getting my story wrong and that I'm right with what I'm saying, they came down and what they were doing? Yeah, it's disobedience, people. Yes, it is. Now, I understand that if you Google unbelief, you'll find where they believe, some people believe that it has to do with turning away from God well what do you think you're doing when you're living for the Lord and then you start going back to living in sin disobedience what do you think you're actually doing even though you profess to be of God you're turning away that's right but I do not believe that that scripture has anything to do with somebody that quits being a non that, that goes to be a non-believer. You know, there are a lot of pastors out there that have quit believing in God. I wonder why. 
if they were led by the Spirit and they saw God moving in their life, why would they quit believing that there's a God? What, because something happens to some loved one of theirs? We all know things are going to happen. us will admit life isn't fair was never going to be perfect that thing bad things happen to good people you've heard that but how many pastors have turned away from God because of things like that oh you know don't get me wrong man I'm telling you when my grandparents passed away not so much my grandpa because my grandmother was around for me to be with but when my grandma passed away hey, hey get out of the way birds is that a whole bunch of doves i think it was like six or seven or eight doves could have been pigeons they kind of fly the same but i don't think it was pigeons i did get mad at god i sure did and i you know Shame on me. I hope this is a good video. But I know right now, if you have the Holy Spirit, there's going to be evidence in your life. And as long as people are living a life of sin, there's no evidence. I think that's the reason why it says you'll know someone by their fruit. And it not, it's not necessarily just what you see there. You'll, I mean, a, a, a person that's a Christian is not going to be going out here and uh, doing things like people of the world. I mean it. I'm telling you. A Christian is not going to do those things. They're going to set themselves apart. Again, I'm telling you, the reason why we are warned multiple places in the Bible not to hang around with sinners, not to walk like other people, not to talk like other people not to be like other people why is it say not to hang around with sinners because you backslide yes you will you will backslide you will go back to your wicked ways you will go apostate you will fall away and there's no way you can be right with God no way <clears throat> you can shipwreck yourself and yes hey by the way that video that I'm that I'm gonna talk about uh, that I'm gonna post up for people to watch uh, he used the scripture shipwreck and talking about it was either before or after talking about falling out of God's grace yes I know what this stuff means again I, I can't rightly divide everything and let me tell you this, you know, one of those videos said that you could ask, you could ask for wisdom from God and he would give it to you. Now, let, I want you to think about this for a moment. I, in one of the comment sections of one of the videos I watched, somebody says, pray for people to have wisdom. It don't work that way. It don't work that way. No one can receive wisdom if they're not going to fear God. You can call out for God for wisdom all day long. You could ask for knowledge all day long. And if a person isn't going to fear God, they're never going to receive it. No way. And you prove you don't fear God by being in sin. That's right. Because there's only one consequence with being in sin. Your iniquity separates you from God. That's right. Nothing ever changed. Jesus Christ did not change that. He did not. He did not change the consequence of sin. Evidently, people out here think the consequence of sin is that they're going to inherit the kingdom. Nuh-uh. Nope. Not per Jesus Christ, nothing happened. Lawless worker of iniquity? Uh-uh. Both dealing with sin. That's right. People are wrong. I'm telling you. Well, like I said, I'm not going to believe in the lies. I hope other people will wake up. 
because it's them that are deceiving people out here. The world, world <laughs> the overnight crack and jack box theologian, know it all. Uh, well, some people got the truth. Some people don't have the truth. The overnight crack and jack box theologian YouTubers. <laughs> Some people may have the truth. But I don't think all of them are going to claim to be know-it-alls either. I think they'd be better off not to claim to be a know-it-all. That'd have to be a pride problem. <coughs> well, no use dragging this video out any longer. And please, I, again, I'm going to say this. Don't think that I'm boasting or bragging. I mean, I really did bring up that doer of the word. You do have to be a doer of the word. You do have to uh, 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 adhere to the word of God. Yeah, we do. Everything that makes sense. I mean, if it don't make sense, you, you do have to adhere to the word of God. If it don't make sense, then... We got a wisdom problem. Either that or we need somebody out here to help. But I'm not bragging about, you know, God. Uh, I, I just don't understand how I would run across a video. And, 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 and like I said, watch all these videos. And I like it when I'll try to get where I'm going in a little while and I'll post up. I'll, I'll write it down on a piece of paper. I'll go back and I'll write every one of them down. And, and I hope people go back and watch them. Could not believe that that pastor, pastor Prince brought up. And I get and see that I'm talking about the book of James. But evidently it talks in the book of Matthew, Mark or Luke to be a doer of the word. Also to do what Christ says is the word is the Bible what Christ said I mean he is the word isn't he made flesh <laughs> God is great I'm telling you I, I mean I have my times where I'm like a lot of other people am I right with you God I really am because uh, you know I don't I, I really don't want to go a day with sin I'm sorry that people out here have the wrong thoughts as I do. But again, when I was in New Mexico, I didn't want to ever sin against God again. And I and I brought it up to him. And I understand I'll never be that way. And I know that the, 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 one of the main reasons why is that if God did it for me, wouldn't he have to do it for you if you asked for it? Man, Tennessee is a beautiful state. Beautiful river there. Five mi three and a half, three point eight miles away from the state of Alabama. But God is great. I mean, I oh man, you know, I, I want to be, I want to be right again. You know, I, I, I just, maybe I'm just questioning myself. All I know is that I did not, I was not like I am right now, one time before. And that's why I want to be again. I do not want to be like this. Like I said, and I'll say it again. How many times have I said that I'd like to be like a lot of other Christians out there? Not have a contentment problem. Um... Uh, a lot of people out here don't don't worry about nothing. Some have a good reason. Some need to wake up and start worrying about something. But I I do like how other people are out here. They do have great messages. I mean, there has been a time, believe me, I'm going to end it on this. Done deal. There was a time when I didn't see very many videos. I mean, yes, testimonies. Yeah, that's about it. And I don't like watching testimonies all the time. Not all the time. 
a lot of times I wasn't finding anybody, wasn't finding much out here at all. Find a few people out here that spoke the truth, a few. And how much more it does make me feel to find more and more. That's enough. <laughs>